JFT just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's Daily Market Review for March the 4th. I am Harald Lambos Pissuros, Head of Research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against the other major currencies on Thursday during the Asian session Friday. It rebounded against uh, the euro, the pound, and the Canadian dollar, while it lost ground versus uh, the yen, the franc, the Aussie, and the Kiwi. Now, although the, sim the simultaneous strengthening of the safe havens and the risk linked currencies initially suggests a blurry, outlook, a blurry outlook with regards to the broader market sentiment, for us, for us, it's clear that the ongoing crisis in Ukraine is once again the main market driver. Safe havens receive support due to uncertainty, while as commodity-linked currencies, the Aussie and the Kiwi rallied as well due to surging uh, energy and other commodity prices. But why was the loony found lower this morning? Perhaps there was some short covering after Wednesday's rally on a relatively upbeat Bank of Canada and surging oil prices. Now, the slide in the euro and the pound add more credence to the view that the, that the geopolitical tensions continue to weigh on the broader market sentiment. Indeed, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that uh, major European and US indices were a sea of red, with the negative appetite rolling into the Asian session, um, into the Asian session today. Now, investors took a uh, fresh fright yesterday following uh, reports that Russia hit a nuclear power plant in Ukraine, the largest of its kind in Europe. While subsequent reports said that there was no immediate change in, uh, in radiation levels in the area, investors remained concerned that the whole situation could become even more dangerous even after the two sides agreed to set up humanitarian corridors and uh, a possible ceasefire. Uh, around them for uh, fleeing um, uh, civilians. As uh, for our view, it has not changed. We stick to our guns that um, uh, we stick to our guns, and we repeat for the upteenth time that the, uh, that it is uh, it is too it is too early to assume that the war is over. Even uh, following the aforementioned agreement, the Russian forces continued surrounding and bombarding Ukrainian cities with the conflict entering its second week. Thus, we still believe that the path of least resistance for equities, the euro and the pound, is to the downside. Oil and other commodity prices are likely to continue trending north alongside the commodity-linked uh, currencies. The US dollar and the other safe havens, yen and, fra uh, yen and franc, are likely to stay supported. Now, as for today, investors may also pay some attention to the U.S. employment report for February, which could help them form a better, uh, a better opinion on how fast the Fed may proceed with its tightening cycle. Non-farm payrolls are forecast to have slowed to, four, to 400,000 from 467,000 in January, but the unemployment rate is expected to have ticked down to 3.9% from 4%, while average, uh, average hourly earnings are expected to have accelerate, accelerated somewhat to 5.8% year over year from 5.7%, um, from which adds to the case of further acceleration in inflation in the months to come. Now, in our view, despite the slowdown in NFPs, the slide in the unemployment rate and the acceleration in, w in wages are likely to keep market expectations over a March hike and, and multiple more uh, thereafter elevated. 
After all, when testifying before Congress, Fed Chair Powell clearly said that he will support a quarter point hike at the upcoming gathering, adding that he is ready to use larger or more frequent rate hikes if inflation does not slow. And this unemployment report is likely to keep the US dollar supported while it may add extra pressure to equities. Monetary policy is the reason why we see equities uh, keep drifting south, even if the crisis in Ukraine, uh, if the, if, even when the crisis in Ukraine ends. Yes, we are very likely to experience a relief bounce in such case, but expectations of an aggressive tightening uh, mean higher borrowing costs for companies uh, sooner as well as lower present values, especially for, for high growth firms, which are valued based on discounted expected cash flows for the months and, year, and years ahead. Now, as for the rest of today's events, we, the, the, uh, the rest of the calendar, besides the NFPs, it appears to be light. We get Eurozone's retail sales for January and Canada's IBPMI for February. Eurozone sales are expected to have rebounded 1.5% month over month after tumbling 3%, while no forecast is available for the, uh, for the Canadian IV index. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week uh, much earlier, you can, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. At this point, I have to let you know that uh, there will be no Weekly Market Outlook webinar on Monday. Uh, so, I hope you have a great day today, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, here again uh, on, uh, on Tuesday. JFT just fair and direct.